Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to our first grocery haul in our new house. We are still moving in. We just unloaded the U-Haul yesterday. So things are literally a hot mess. But the kids started school or they start school tomorrow on Monday. So I wanted to go ahead and get the fridge and the freezer stocked with their foods that they need for the week, for dinners, for stuff like that. I didn't go in with a list. I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants, which is always dangerous. But you guys know when you move, you kind of need like everything. <laughs> he watched we have the, a house. We have a yay. house. We have a house. <laughs> You're so happy. Things are so crazy though. Um, Lucy went with me to buy all the groceries and we also needed some like non-food stuff so we went to aldi first yes we do have aldi here yay and then we went to walmart so how different is the aldi from the one you used to the aldi is um like the aldi's used to be before they started getting remodeled it's definitely like an older aldi so that means probably eventually they'll remodel it it looks almost exactly like the ones i used to shop at before they made them like more new looking but they still had all the same stuff it was fine. I'm very glad we still have all the prices were fairly comparable to what I'm used to both places. Um, some things were a little less some things were a little more. I think it probably averaged out. So I've got a pizza in the oven for the kids. <laughs> I'm going to try to show you guys what I got real quick. This would be like a down and dirty pot podcast a down and dirty grocery haul because not everything is laid out beautifully there's still things in boxes but we're just going to show you guys what we got today i spent 125 dollars at aldi y'all my cart was overflowing and it was only 125 dollars i keep hearing noises out of lucy and mark are occupying themselves um and i spent another like 112 at walmart but a lot of it was household stuff it was not food there's a couple things for food so i'm gonna turn the camera on i'm gonna show you guys everything we got hopefully that's a little bit better okay so i got some ground beef i thought i could make taco meat one night um mark really likes it i like to have it to put in nate's quesadillas we can do different things with it quesadillas tacos nachos cut that kind of thing this is like two and a half pounds and it was 2.99 a pound which is really good i also got some taco seasoning I don't have my big container um, that I normally get from Sam's, so I'm just going to go with the, pow the powder mix. Actually, I used to make my own. Maybe I should do that again. Um, this is thrown in. This is from Walmart, but I got the Walmart Free and Delicate Laundry Detergent. I've never used this. Normally, we do the All Free and Clear, but I thought we'd try this. It was a little bit cheaper. Not much, but a little. Back to Aldi. We got some whole milk, a cantaloupe. I've really been wanting some goat cheese and crackers, and I'll show you the goat cheese I got. But I really like the six cracker assortment. Okay, sesame wheat, seeded multigrain, cracked wheat, rosemary, poppy and pepper water, and five grain. And it comes like, I'll have to show you in a vlog, but it comes like all sealed that you just open the top and all these crackers are sorted. So that's for me. I got some ciabatta rolls for sandwiches. For the kids, I got some of these like go-gurt moo tube things. This is watermelon and cherry. I got some cheese, some Colby Jack, and some mozzarella, turkey breast, and honey ham, apple juice, ketchup. Lucy picked out these mini brownies. I also got some black beans. Let's see. Um, I really like these for the kids' lunches, these snack chips, snack combo, little like prepackaged chips. They stay fresher longer. They're prepackaged and portioned out. So got those a cucumber some flour tortillas let's go over here steamed corn and then we also got some broccoli somewhere let's see one of those um some meatballs and these are nate's favorite chicken nuggets the honey batter tenders we needed some trash bags some half and half bags or tortilla chips and then blueberries strawberries and these grapes that looked really good so that's all on the table let's go over here to all of this quick oats two things of traditional marinara sauce some sugar-free french vanilla creamer parmesan cheese there's the broccoli florets mini chocolate chips I got several of the whole milk Greek yogurts. Nate really likes this. This is the key lime. I also got some um, toasted coconut vanilla. Let's 
see. Here's the goat cheese I got. I really like this honey goat cheese. It's so good. The goat cheese from Aldi is delicious. So I like that with crackers. Cinnamon rolls. We love Aldi cinnamon rolls. And I also got myself this. It's like dessert, y'all. This is so good. These tilts. Key lime crunch. Danimal smoothie. Mark and Lucy really like that. I got some pancake syrup. Some cheese. This is provolone and I also got Colby Jack. That's everything right there. Of course we got French toast sticks. I got two boxes of those. Mark and Nate really like those. We needed all kinds of Ziploc bags so I got gallon size. I got sandwich size and over here quart size. So we're going to stock up on Ziploc bags. Chewy granola bars. Pancake mix. Nate really likes pancake mix don't you buddy? Do you like pancakes? Bye. Yeah. Um, elbow macaroni, some spaghetti, waffle cones. Lucy picked that out. Alphabet cookies, um, chocolate chip cookies. Both of these are pre portioned, which makes it easy for the school. Olive oil. You sure are hungry. Mommy's got you a pizza going. Apples and mandarin oranges. And I believe that's it for all of that. And then this all is at Walmart, not this stuff. <laughs> Those are shoes. Um, we needed some curtain rod brackets um, at Walmart. So I got these. I think they're going to work. I got two packages of those. If they don't work, we'll take them back. Some sour cream. Some white American cheese because I'm going to make some homemade cheese dip. My friend Jen makes the best. And she puts the salsa verde in her cheese um, and mixes that with half and half. So we're going to try it out. If it turns out good, I'll let you know. Rainbow Sherbet is what Lucy wanted. I got this to hold my powdered Tide. I've cleaned with powdered Tide. And so I need to like something to put it in because the box is falling apart. And then I also got this shower caddy for the bathroom. And then over here, something's beeping. Um, over here, I got some more king size pillows. I got two of these because our like shams on our bed, the pillows for those were so thin and nasty and gross. They would kind of like forever. So I just went ahead and got some nice fresh pillows to have them look nice and puffy. And then I got a curtain rod for our bedroom. I liked this one. I thought it was pretty. It's a faux marbled ball drapery rod. And I'll show you guys how we end up doing this. Um, but it's really pretty. It was like 20, I think it was like right at $20, which isn't too bad. So that and all of this and all of this. So that is it. I hear kids crying. I'm going to get them their, <laughs> their food because everybody's melting down. Um, we love you guys. Yay for a grocery haul in our new house. Look forward to many, 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 many more grocery hauls. Once I get the pantry and the fridge set up the way I want, let me know if you would like a uh, like pantry tour, way I organize my food. Let me know. That'll be fun to film. But anyway, we love you guys. We hope you have a great week. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all later. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting